Welcome back everyone, Phoenix3 here, and today I'm going to try to make some attempts to play some Pokemon Showdown, because I haven't done that in a while. Um, I kind of got my second screen up, so if you see me looking over to the side, it's because I'm looking at things like damage calcs and stuff like that. But, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this team. I took Magic Guard off of, or Magic Coat off of Cresselia, put Thunder Wave on. And I put that there because, like, I'm tired of getting swept by Charizard X. So I want to try something. And I'm not sure what I want to do with Latias. I'm thinking about putting a Choice Scarf on it. But that's also so I could deal with Mega Charizard X. Um, I really don't have any good ways of dealing with any Dragon Dancers, unfortunately. They're just way too powerful. But... I'm just going to jump on, uh, see if we can maybe get some good games here. Nope. Let's use this. Maybe we'll get something, maybe we don't. I don't know. I kind of want to run some more Destiny, though. I think that'd be fun. Alright, so my opponent's using Gallade, Aerodactyl, Dawn Fan Superior, Rotom Wash, and Talon Flame. The Gallade is probably is mega but of course the um air adapter could also be his mega but that's probably just a suicide stealth rock lead so i could possibly i mean i could leave the vaporeon to be pretty safe if he wants to switch in superior i just double switch out into talent flame i don't know i might want to run bulky talent flame like max attack max special defense or something like that just so I could take Leaf Storms from this thing all day. Because I really don't need the speed. Like, the speed that I have on there is just going to be to outspeed other Talon Flames. Which not a lot of people are really using. And if they do, there's always a speed tie that I seem to lose. So I'd rather have the HP. Or, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going I'm to see how that works. Do that right now. Uh, apparently I took the EVs out. Oh well. And for special defense, I guess. Why not? Then I could just run attack, beneficial nature, and be done with that. All right, but we're going to leave with Vaporeon, expecting Dawn Fan or Aerodactyl. So that happened. I've got my Defogger, so if I need to, I can get rid of the rocks. We're going to Scald here on the taunt. Okay, so I mean, no stealth rocks. That's fine. Okay. Is this thing life orbed or something? I'm gonna scald again. No. So what's this thing's item? It could potentially be bandit. Superior. This here is, of course, where the uh, main issue comes in because now I can't switch in talent flame on the superior. I can thing is faster than Latias. I swear, Latias' speed here is like so awkward. It's like base 110 just isn't good anymore. But I think I have to switch in Talon Flame here because um, Cresselia eat up hits from everything here. I mean, I could switch in Cresselia, which gives me a free switch in to. No, but I think that second one. I mean, the Thunder Wave would be extremely useful here. Because I really don't want to have Talonflame taking more damage than it needs to. But Talonflame isn't really useful in this match like that. Because Pidgeot does the same job. It outspeeds the Superior. And it outspeeds the uh, Galay. So I'm just going to switch into Talonflame. We're just going to force him out. We'll eat the Leaf Storm. For some reason, I, f I knew it was going to be a critical hit. He's probably going to switch. I can U-turn right here into a Latias. He has nothing that wants to uh, deal with that. And then I get rid of rocks. But of course, if he stays in, then I lose my Talonflame. 
and I potentially um, lose a lose a poke. All right, so I think I'm just going to acrobatics. Okay, he he switched out. Okay, so Rotom Wash is in fact this. I'm going to U-turn. I think I'm going to have to sacrifice my uh, Latias here. But I got to get rid of these rocks. They're too dangerous. There's the Volt Switch. Hopefully, whatever he brings in, I can take a hit from. Okay, cool. Dawn Fan. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these rocks. I was actually hoping Dawn Fan came in. Because now this is going to make things a lot easier for me. And that's the thing. I hate having to sacrifice a Pokemon just to get rid of rocks. But. I mean, could Dawn Fan potentially have Stealth Rock too? I mean, could he have two Rockers on his team? If he does, I'm going to be pissed because... Pidgeot takes an Ice Shard. I mean, everything here takes an Ice Shard, but I'm going to try to scare him out. I could make a double, actually. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to double out into Pidgeot. Oh, was that bad? No, it wasn't. Okay. And we just Mega Hurricane. He's not going to stay in. What do you do? So he gives me free. Uh oh. This Rotom might not take this too well. Oh, he takes it extremely well. Well, it's alright. I gotta make a Pidgeot up. Um, I don't want to take a hit. So I think what I do is. I think I U turn into Zapdos. Because, I mean, Zapdos can keep the, um, everything else he got in check. Okay. I think I'm going to roost here. Pain split. I mean, I didn't want to take that hit anyway. I don't know, maybe I put Verizian on this team just to deal with Rotom. I'm going to hit him power. He's going to knock off. I'm going to switch out into Vaporeon. That's what I'm going to do. Because I don't want to take an Ice Shard here. Or maybe I just let it die. I mean, I know he has knock off. I haven't even seen his item yet. And that talent flame he got is definitely annoying. You know, I can calc this real quick. This is the reason I have damage calculators up for all my Pokemon here. I wonder if I can take a nice shard. You, you choice man, that's a set. You, you defensive spinner. It's saying he doesn't carry Ice Shard, but I, I don't want to trust that. These things always have... Oh, I take an Ice Shard. Okay. I could live one. It said I could live one. So I don't know what this damage calc is about. This thing is stupid. But I think I have to... I think I have to bring Pidgeot in here, which is actually kind of bad because I think to deal with Talonflame, I think Talonflame knocks me out. If it's Swords Dance, it's Brave Bird's going to do about 67%. Um, if it's um, if it's Banded, then. Oh, well, it doesn't 
have that. I mean, we could put a choice band on here real quick. If it's choice band, it knocks me out. Um, see, the thing is, is I can't take too many Rotom um, switches, and I think I lost my best Pokemon. I think the best thing for me to do is to try to do something with this Cresselia. He knocks me off. I get a Calm Mind. Talonflame is really the only Pokemon he has that can do something to me. But if it's um, like Banded or if it's Swords Dance, then I simply lose and I have to risk. But my Talonflame is not running max speed, so... I really don't want to go into Vaporeon here. But, I mean, we can get the burn. Then that would be extremely useful. We don't get it. I'm going to protect, see what he wants to do. Leave Storm. Alright, the only Pokemon i got that can come in and take that is Pidgeot. Christ, it does a lot. I'm a hurricane. Alright, cool. I think his talent flame is gonna come in now. I think I can take an ice shard from this. So I'm gonna U-turn. I'm gonna go into Cresselia. There's the Volt Switch. He's probably going to go into Talonflame. Or he goes into Dawn Fan. That's fine. And I'm not scared of Knock Off. I'm going to call Mind again. To voice shenanigans, I'm going to Moonlight. Yeah, I think he knew I was going to do that. Um, I'm a moon blast. Just in case he wants to switch into something, I get some damage on it first. Rotom is a possible switch. Uh, Talonflame is also a possible switch. Talonflame is not. It could possibly be banded. Um, I'm a thunder wave. Wisp. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's bulky talent flame. All right, well, I got to keep this up. I'm at plus four. Okay, so it's a good thing I, I clicked that this time. You know what? He has no threats at all. I took down the superior, which was the biggest one. I could switch into. I'm a. I'm gonna do this again. Let's see what he wants to do. Oh my god! Should have just attacked. Um, that's fine. Okay, we got that talent flame. Okay, talent flame is down. So he switches into Galate, it dies. He switches into Dawn Fan, it dies. His only Pokemon he has he can bring in is Rotom.
right, he's bringing in Dawn Fan. I'm a Moonlight just to get my health back. Then I'm going to Moonblast it. I just need to hit it once, I think. Yeah. Gallade dies to Moonblast. Pidgeot's faster, especially if it's a Mega. It's Mega, so I outspeed it. Dead. And Rotom doesn't do anything to me. I'm just gonna actually. I wanna play a little conservative here because a lot of my stuff is actually weak to this Rotom, and he's faster than me. I just want to hit this thing as many times as I can. So when I send in Pidgeot, I, I'm good. I could be an asshole when I switch in Talonflame. I don't think I need to do that though. And that's GG. Alright, so we managed to bullshit our way out of that game. Uh, putting Thunder Wave on Cresselia definitely helped us. That Talon Flame and Superior were really scary. The Aerodactyl, I kind of knew I was going to deal with that, but those other two Pokemon were really scary. So I'm glad we got to uh, at least win that game. So I think this is what we're running now. I think this might be for the better. Especially if I have Thunder Wave on my Pokemon, then I should be able to at least um, pull some shenanigans out. The only other Pokemon that's really scaring me is Cafable. I really want to put something on just to deal with that. Like, I really don't know if I want Surf on this Latias or not. It's good because it hits Heatran, but it doesn't do enough damage to it. It'd be nice to put Toxic on something. Zapdos, maybe? No. Pidgeot, maybe? I mean, really the only two Pokemon I ever lose to is uh, Charizard X and uh, Cafable. If it's unaware of Cafable, I lose to it. And I'm trying to figure out a way to, to deal with that. Because I can't stat boost against it, and Town Flame isn't really all that powerful without the Sword Stance. And I don't have any other physical attackers. Even when I had Zangoose on the team, the Toxic Boost, I still couldn't get one hit knockouts on it, even with Metal Claw. So we don't have a Cafable, but uh, we still got shenanigans. The uh, Sableye is more than likely the Mega. I could start with Pidgeot. That's a that's a good start here. Um, Zapdos is also a really good start. Talonflame is a good start too. Pretty much any bird is a good start. Okay, my opponent just forfeits. That's fine. Next battle. Man, I need a haircut. Ah, fuck. Like, this team here is cancer, man. If this isn't unaware of Fable, then I should be able to do something with it, but... I think I need to... Because he's, he's going to start with either um, Ferrothorn or Heatran. I need a start that's not going to tip him off that I'm carrying a Fire-type move. I could start Zapdos. I'm going to start Zapdos. Alright. I'm going to click Heat Wave, and there it goes. I 
think he, or Latias is my switch for. I was expecting rocks, but okay. Um, I'm a surf. He scarfed. All right, I have a I have a choice here. I could switch in Vaporeon, take the attack, or I could stay in, surf, knock him out. But he also has the um, Ferrothorn. Maybe Surf does enough. Let's see. Starmie. That did a lot of damage. Thunderbolt or Ice Beam. Thunderbolt or Ice Beam. Either way, Cresselia eats up both of those hits. Vaporeon eats up every single hit the Starmie wants to do. It doesn't take the... Um, this thing has natural cure, so I'm not going to be able to like paralyze it and actually do something with it. Latias is still useful, I think. Haxorus. I got to be careful about things with Dragon Dance. If anything, I could save it for like Deathfire. So we're going to switch out going to... Uh, he does thunder. That did a lot of damage, okay. My Vaporeon did not take that well at all. I'm going to take my lefties gain. If I can get Talonflame to plus four, we knock the Heat Ran out. We knock the Sableye out. We knock the Haxorus out. We knock the uh, we knock everything out at plus four. Um, we, we knocked a Confable out at plus 4 too, if it's not unaware. I, mean, I really need to put Toxic on something. I could take Calm Mind off Cresselia, put Toxic on, and have it just for Clefable. Just so he can't stat boost against me. I can run it, I can run an anti um, Cresselia set. I could do something like. Um, skill swap take on aware ideally I would like to do a trapper set but that would involve me using Umbreon which I'm not opposed to I like Umbreon I can lock it in um, baton pass into Cresselia skill swap take its ability now it can't retreat and then toxic stall it I mean, you really don't want these things getting any calm minds up. They're just way too powerful with it. But at plus four, I definitely knock everything out. Except the uh, Clefable. That's going to be really hard to play around. So what's he going to do? He, he timed himself out. Um, that's the thing I don't like about the battle timer. It's like you turn it on because somebody's taking too long for you. I like thinking my moves through and then you go on and lose due to your own selfishness. I think it's funny. It's irony, actually. But, you know, it's whatever. All right. Oh, he has a Cresselia, too. All right. Pidgeot's going to be hard to get in. Nothing on his team really appreciates a burn. That would actually be a reason I run speed on Talonflame, is to do something like Will-O-Wisp. Um, 
Jesus Christ. He has like three Pokemon that shit on Cresselia and Latias. I almost want to say Zapdos is my most neutral start. Who can learn Stealth Rocks here? Metagross can. He has Gengar. paralyze it all right so we don't want to lose Zapdos Latias isn't doing much here I want to switch but switching to who Talonflame is useful against the um, Alakazam if it's Mega it's just useful against Metagross because I got the Flare Blitz. If Cresselia doesn't get poison, I can take the uh, I can take the uh, Sludge Bomb and the Shadow Ball, which would be enough for me to get a Paralysis off and then finish it off. All right, we're gonna switch out into Cresselia. She will take this hit. Okay, she didn't get poison, so. I think we just want a moon blast. Oh, Destiny Bond. I guess that would have been a good reason to use that. So that's one big threat down, actually. So I'm going to go into Pidgeot here. Man, everything is so fast. This has to be his Mega. I really don't want to give him any ammo for... I mean, do I sacrifice... What is going on here? Why are people quitting? That's alright, I don't mind that. I really didn't want to fight that team. Everything is so fast. Alright, this team looks fun. Trantar is obviously starting. Garchomp can also start to set up rocks. If that's the case, Tyranitar is probably scarfed, so I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, we got Keldeo. I'm almost positive I can start with Vaporeon. I can start with Vaporeon or Zapdos. It's just who do I really want to start with, though. Latias is a good start, too. I'm going to start with Zapdos. Alright. My team is so weak to this Tyranitar. He doesn't want to take a Scald. Right? doesn't all right so we got a wish I can make a hard switch out here into Talonflame I will take the secret sword I really want to try to get a burn on Keldeo that's what I really want to do so I don't want to give him any ammunition to bring in a Garchomp but I get all my health back though I mean, nothing on his team really wants to take a Thunderbolt. I mean, the Latias appreciates it. The Garchomp can completely take it. But I got the Hidden Power Ice with the Sands up. So I really don't want to see Garchomp any sooner than I have to. And I can take one hit from this thing, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to protect. 
I want him to know I have to move. This is gonna let me uh, play around with some switching like that. Cause now if I can burn this thing, we get somewhere. We don't burn it. I'm gonna scald again. Hopefully we get the burn. No burn. I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna wish. All right, that was good. I can make a switch here into Cresselia, but why would I do that? Let's hopefully we get the burn here. We got the burn. That's all I wanted. We're going to protect to get some more burn damage. Then we're going to wish so he dragon tails. If something comes in that's four times a week, then we simply just heal the damage back. I gotta get Pidgeot in at some point though. It'll be nice to have something faster than the uh, Latias, the Mega Metagross, and the uh, Keldeo. The Keldeo could also possibly be Scarfed. Earthquake. Okay. Um, I can actually take that in. Ouch. I have to stay in now. I got I chickened out. I wanted to go into either Latias there or something, but I'm glad I didn't go into Latias. I can't lose my defogger. So we're gonna wish. See what this Latias wants to do. This thing could be healing wish. If it's healing wish, then he's only his Garchomp back with full health and Psy Shop. I'm going to protect and wish on the uh, Draco. I just got to hope we can take it at 81 or 82. We should be able to. My Vaporeon's bulky. Unless he gets a crit. Like, sometimes I wonder, like, what's the point in even trying, like, you make certain moves hoping something doesn't happen, but it does. That's the second time my Vaporeon got crit off of a minus two special attack Latias. But that's alright though. I'm going to uh, Dragon Pulse here. I could serve two, that'd be good. But I'm just going to attack him. He didn't appear to be scarfed, so we should be good. Tarantar is going to come back in. I don't know if Tarantar is scarfed, though. But does Tarantar do two anything in a row? Let's see. Tarantar used Stone Edge. He withdrew. This thing is scarfed. I don't have anything that I want to take a crunch though. Sucks I lost my Vaporeon. That would have been extremely useful against the Metagross. Is he bluffing Scarf though? I mean, I have no reason not to think this Tranchar isn't Scarf. I mean, his Garchomp wasn't Scarfed, it was a Stealth Rocker. It makes sense for the Tyranitar to be Scarfed, but who do I have that can take a crunch and fire something back off at him? Talonflame can do that. I don't need my Talonflame for his, because his Talonflame is running probably more speed than mine, so I think the only thing I can do is... is that... Now the uh, main question here becomes, do I Flare Blitz 
Well, he's faster than me. I have the acrobatics. I think this is the reason to run max speeds for the Metagross. That's the reason I would have Flare Blitz right there, is for that. Okay, I should still be faster, so. Okay, and I got enough health after the Sandstorm, so that's good. I'm going to save my, um, my Talonflame, though. His Tarantar is weak enough. The Latias makes things interesting because it has the uh, Healing Wish. It might have Healing Wish. Then he could just bring Tarantar back in at full health. That's what he's going to do. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, does Talonflame do enough to uh, Latias at 69%? I'm thinking OU Offensive Support. We only get max 52%. So the best thing for me to do is U-turn into Cresselia. Drop a Thunder Wave on it. I, mean, I know he's on a Healing Wish. He has to. He has a Tyranitar that's not doing well. A Keldeo at 82 and a, a still healthy Talon Flame. But if he does knock out my Talon Flame, then I knock out his thing with oh, my, my Pidgeot's not Mega yet. Oh man, U-turn doesn't knock it out, but it's not going to matter if he does Healing Wish. See, there he goes. Oh, it doesn't do an end of the turn thing. Okay, that's how I thought that worked. Okay, Tarantar is definitely coming back in. Crap. Right, what do I do do to Tyranitar now? I have to let I have to let this die. If he does Stone Edge and miss, like if he puts himself in Stone Edge, and that's not going to be good for him because my Cresselia is definitely going to be very useful against him. You know what? I think I'm just going to Acrobatics. You know, get damage, he uses crunch. So he locks himself in a crunch. I can do some stuff based on that. I can bring in Pidgeot and Mega, which would be extremely useful. Let's check some uh, calcs here. Tyranitar. Oh, you scarf. Stone Edge, Earthquake, Crunch, and Pursuit is the most likely set it's going to have with the u-turn I get at least 20 percent I get 26 of hidden power ground and I can take one crunch Tyranitar. What does Zapdos do to it? I get 36% on it. 42 max with Thunderbolt. Um, I really don't want to go into a crystal. He already hit me. He already hit me. We can do this. This is just to make things a little bit easier for me. Because I can just keep doing this until he gets to fully paralysis or he lowers my defense, which is something I hope doesn't happen. Screw it. I'd rather have two turns hitting this thing. Alright, now I can do this. He is not hitting himself. This Tyranitar. Alright, I have to attack him now. That sucks. Hopefully that doesn't matter too much. Hopefully we can still take one. 
or hopefully he gets fully paralyzed that'll help too If he did Stone Edge, I would have been in a much better position. Paralyzed, paralyzed. He doesn't get paralyzed. That's all right, though. I can go and make a Pidgeot now. And U-turn. Um, Hopefully, that wasn't a bad move. None of these Pokemon want to take a Thunderbolt. He decides to go into Keldeo. I am one point faster, but I'm going to Thunderbolt. Oh, and he misses. All right. We are definitely in the uh, pilot seat now, and my opponent forfeits. That team was definitely hard to fight that's the type of team I expect to fight on, on OU but that definitely helped even if the uh, icy wind didn't miss you know I still had uh, Pidgeot and Latias so there's a good chance we would have won that game unless the talent plane was banded um, I think I'm a end the video there you know 41 minutes in so this here was a really good session. So we had some opponents that uh, quit, but um, I felt like I played halfway decent and I got my rating above 1500 now, which is good. So if you guys like this video, um, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to always be doing Pokemon related content. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. You know, I felt I made some good plays that is at least worthy of some kind of recognition. And um, if you have any comments for me, just be sure to leave them down below. I'll try to answer them. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. And I hope to see you all in the next one.